Hey, I'm back with Dr. Joe. Doc, as a chiropractor, one thing in just talking with you that I want to kind of express to you that I really like. Usually when I think of a chiropractor, I think of someone that just kind of cracks my back. Mm -hmm. I go out, you know, helps me that way. One thing that I've really, in talking with you, is you've really helped identify the cause. Is that correct? Is that something sure. you've done? And so that way I don't have that pain. I don't have to get constant adjustment. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So one of those areas, especially as we get older, you know, I see it a lot with my students as they're, we're getting older, is basically the, the hips. Mm -hmm. What's going on with the hips? Are we losing range of motion? What's, is that going to cause injury? Is that, if I'm tighter in my hips, what would that do? Yeah, absolutely. What we find is, is, is the older we get, uh, especially if we, we don't even have enough good hip range of motion to start with, we start kind of losing a little bit as years go on. Okay. And so what we end up trying to do is, is overpower and in the swing. And as we're trying to force everything through, that, that actually can increase your instance for hip injury. Absolutely. Oh, that's, that's not good. No, so it's not. what can we do really quick for our guys here? I want to increase my range of motion for my hips. Do you have a, something really quick we can do? Absolutely. I got a very simple hip exercise. This deals with internal, external rotation of the hip. Internal coming in, external kind of coming out a little bit. Let me kind of show you. Okay. So we're going to kind of lay down here. Okay. Lay down on our side. What you want to do is, is you can just kind of brace your head, brace your neck so you don't put any stress on that. Kind of bring your knees almost to 90-90. Okay, so bending at the hip, bending at the knees. We're going to take our other hand, stick our hand up on the hip here. The reason why is sometimes when we have lack of range of motion, we want to use our hips to kind of get everything going. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to keep our feet together and we're going to move our, our knees apart. Okay, so kind of watch. Knees come up slow and controlled. Knees come down slow and controlled. One more time. Knees come up slow and controlled, knees go down. What we normally see is, is, is with lack of range of motion, we tend to do this whole thing to rock the hip up. Keep from doing that. Second exercise, keep the knees together, open up the feet. So as we come over here, feet come up, nice slow and controlled, knees together still. Foot down slow and controlled. Foot up slow and controlled, knees together, foot down. And for, for this one here, we find a lot of people, they tend to want to roll things forward. That's, That's why we have this hand on the hip. <laughs> That's me. That's the external rotation right there, and I can <laughs> tell that one. My hip's cramping already right there. That's an area <laughs> I need to do. So that's awesome. If that's something that's simple, real easy, it creates stability, creates motion, range Absolutely. of motion in the hips. That in and of itself will allow us to hit the ball farther. Is that correct? Yep. Get you, allow you to get that range of motion. So when you come back and you want to load in that hip, you have that range of motion to do that so you can explode that power forward. That's awesome. Use that little tip and work on those hips.